Now let's start organizing our scene into folders. You're going to see you have a bunch of cubes and a bunch of cylinders in here. So one way to create a new folder is you can go over here and in the subtool menu, so here's our tool menu, you can pull down in this little menu section here, now we have subtools, and uh, we have a new folder option. Actually, before we get to that, you see a visible count. You can actually increase and decrease the visible count of the subtool here. So if you've got a really high resolution monitor, you can really have a lot of subtools showing. As well as, uh, incidentally, you can go into preferences here under UI, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, under interface UI, and you can see there's a button size. If you drag that to the left, uh, it's going to tell you you need to restart ZBrush in order to see the smaller buttons, but that'll make everything in the ZBrush interface smaller. So if you don't mind that, then uh, feel free to change that value. I'm going to leave it alone for now. But anyway, back to this. So we can uh, create a new folder, and if you click that button, it's going to ask you for a name. So we're going to go ahead and name this uh, Cylinder. Cylinders. And uh, incidentally, if you are creating new folders, you only want to use your ABCs. So use the alphabet. Upper and lower case is fine. You're going to want to use numbers, but no spaces, special characters, or foreign characters, at least according to the documentation. So here we have a Cylinders folder. Only what happened was we had this uh, cube selected as our selected subtool. So when we created a folder, it made a folder with that cube in it. That's not exactly what we wanted. However, we won't be able to drag. You'll see that when we drag that cube out of that folder, the folder disappears. Uh, any folder in ZBrush has to have something in it. So let's do that again. Let's go ahead and say new folder. We'll call it cylinders. And again, I still have the selected, so that's me being a dummy. But if I want to, I can take this cylinder here and just drag it into that folder. And now that cylinder's in that folder. And then I can take this other cylinder, drag it in that folder. And this cube here, now when I drag it out, the folder will stay behind. And now we have a collapsible folder that has cylinders in it. Now you're going to see when I have a folder selected, or when I have an object selected within a folder, a little pin icon comes on. Uh, as soon as I go outside of that folder, that pin icon goes away. So you can collapse this folder. Uh, we don't have any of these subtools selected in it. However, if I alt tap one of those cylinders, the folder is still going to be collapsed, but you're going to see that pin icon is going to turn on because the selected subtool is, with, is within that collapsed folder. Now, another way to make folders is if you hit W, you're going to see uh, the gizmo has a little button right here. If you hover over that, that says transpose all selected subtools. So you can toggle that on and off. Incidentally, if you need more information on all the basics of ZBrush, go to my YouTube channel. Check out ZBrush for ideation. That's 50 videos and counting of uh, just basics of how ZBrush works. In fact, this video is probably going to end up in there. But anyway, what you can do is you can turn that on, and then if you hold down Control, Shift, and Tap, that was gonna, that's going to hash all of your objects. You see they're made up of little bitty lines here. So what you can do is you can unhash these objects by holding down Control, Shift, and tapping all of these cubes here. And then with all of these cubes unhashed, if we hit a new folder, or you can hit Control, F, and that'll say, hey, several of these visible subtools are activated for multi-transpose. Do you want to create a new folder containing these subtools? I'm going to hey, say always yes. Let's go ahead and name these cubes. And now we have a folder with cylinders and a folder with cubes in them. We can go ahead and turn that transpose multiple selected off. And then now we have, again, folder with cubes and a folder with cylinders. Now, just like you can reposition subtools or drag subtools out of folders, uh, you can go in here and you can drag this cube down here and you can drag this cube back in. You can also, if you collapse these folders down, you can take this cubes folder and you can move it above the cylinders folder and vice versa. Now let's say you wanted to move all of the uh, cylinders in the cylinder folder. Uh, what you could do is you could go over here to mul uh, move transpose multiple, hold down control shift, make sure you unhash both of these and then you can move them both at the same time. However, ZBrush makes this a lot easier if you just go over here to the folder options, this little gear icon right here, and you can say transpose set and that'll tra that'll do all of those, that manual thing we just did, it just does that for you. So now we can move this here, we can maybe scale this down, move this up. And then we can go ahead and turn that off. If you go in here, there's a bunch of different options in here. One of these is duplicate. So you can actually take this, the entire folder contents and you can duplicate it. And now we have our, we move this up here. We have a duplicate folder here. Let's go ahead and say transpose set again. I'm going to move these down. So now we have, and I'll go ahead and turn this option off. We have this cylinder folder here is a bottom cylinder. So if I want to, I can go in here and I can say rename folder and we'll say cylinders bottom. Now, if you have a cylinder selected within this folder and you go down here to rename, that's going to want to rename that subtool. You want to make sure you go into the folder option here and set rename folder. And then again, we'll name that cylinders top. Same thing with these cubes here. If we want to, we can scroll down a little bit. Or if now that we've got a whole bunch of folders and uh, subtools in here, let's take that visibility count. We'll just pull that down a little bit. I'm going to hold down alt and tap this bottom one here. And if I hold down shift and do that 
bottom arrow, it's actually going to shoot that subtool all the way out of that folder and to the uh, bottom of the stack. If I hold down shift and do that bent up arrow, it's going to shoot it to the top. So that's a, that's a way to kind of get your subtools moved around. If you don't hold down shift and you just move this up, it's going to move it up into that folder. And then if you keep doing that, it's just going to move uh, that cube through that folder system. Of course, you can just drag these uh, cubes and put them back in there. Uh, but what I want to do is hold down shift and then do that bent arrow down and then alt tap this one, hold down shift, move that bent arrow down, hit make new folder. We'll call this cubes bottom. And then we'll just drag this cube in here. So now these are our bottom cubes. And then this one here, we'll just go ahead and name this one. We'll do rename folder. We'll name that cubes top. It's another really cool functional thing we need to talk about. So if we have the comma key here, we're gonna go into tool. We're gonna to load up the demo soldier and the Ryan King's line anatomy model. And go ahead and hit the comma key and we'll go ahead and drag this out on our canvas. So we have two files right here. And let's say in the demo soldier, if I open up the subtool, you're gonna see a bunch of subtools in here. And then we also have the anatomy model. Let's say I want all of these demo soldier parts into this subtool. So all of these subtools into this tool right here. There's a couple different ways to do that. We can do it one by one. We can grab this one here, and then we just go over here to append or insert. Whatever subtool you have selected, it will go ahead and append or insert that object here. Let's go ahead and delete that. Go back to Demo Soldier. Um, you could also, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go into Z plugin. Let's drag this over here. And there is a subtool master. You could multi append a Z tool. So you can go in here to like, this tool here, we can go in here to multi-append, and then as long as you know where the other file is, so in this case, ZBrush 2020, Z Tools, Demo Soldier, it'll go ahead and append all these. So now you can see Demo Soldier stuff is put at the bottom of this one. And we'll go ahead and delete all those out of here. And there's one more way, and that's by using folder technology. So if I hit W, and uh, if you remember from the folders in the earlier uh, basics chapter, if you uh, open up, this transpose all selected subtools. I'm gonna hold down Control Shift and just grab a bunch of them. Hit Control F. That'll make a new folder. Say always yes. We'll just call this Soldier All. Uh, and then we just drag anything we we missed in there. So now we have a folder full of all the soldier pieces. So now what we can do is back in here into the Z plugin subtool master area. You can go in here to copy folder. And you see when I click copy folder it's going to say paste folder. It's going to switch those buttons. So now I can go over here and I can say paste folder and that'll go ahead and paste the entire contents of that folder. So we go ahead and collapse this. You can see it put it right above the one we had selected. So now we have all the soldier stuff put right at the bottom of our original anatomy tool. So if we want to uh, we can go down here, we can select this one, we can turn off that folder and now we have a toggleable uh, soldier folder added to this tool.